Each school year during the fall and spring, nurses from the immunization department at the Windsor Essex County Health Unit visit local elementary schools to provide immunization clinics for grade 7 students. This video will provide an overview of the grade 7 immunization program, including a brief explanation of the vaccines that are offered, information about vaccine side effects, and how to give permission or refusal for your child to receive these vaccines at school. In Ontario, there are three vaccines in the routine immunization schedule for students in grade 7. These vaccines protect against meningococcal disease, hepatitis B virus, and human papillomavirus, also known as HPV. The vaccines are all publicly funded and provided at no cost. The Immunization of School Pupils Act, ISPA, is a law that requires students to be immunized for certain diseases to attend school. According to the ISPA, the meningococcal vaccine is mandatory for grade 7 students unless there is a valid medical or non-medical exemption on file with your local public health unit. The hepatitis B and HPV vaccines are not mandated by the ISPA, but are strongly recommended. Now we will discuss each vaccine in more detail. The meningococcal vaccine protects against infections that cause swelling of the brain and spinal cord, known as meningitis, as well as infection of the blood. The bacteria that cause this disease spreads through coughing, sneezing, kissing, and other contact with infected saliva or mucus from the nose. This can include sharing items such as lip balm, water bottles, and straws. Meningococcal disease is very serious and causes death in approximately 10% of infected people. Long-term complications can include deafness, brain damage, and seizures. Students in grade 7 require one dose of meningococcal vaccine. Note, this vaccine is different from the meningococcal vaccine given at one year of age. The dose given in grade 7 provides protection against more strains of bacteria than the one given in infancy. The hepatitis B vaccine protects against the hepatitis B virus, which can cause liver damage and liver cancer. This virus spreads from person to person through contact with infected blood and body fluids. This can include sharing personal items such as a toothbrush, razor, or nail clippers. It can also be spread through unclean equipment used for piercings or tattoos. For grade 7 students, it is a two-dose vaccine series. Some students may have already received this vaccine at a younger age in a different province or country or for travel purposes. If a child already has a completed series, they do not need to be immunized again in grade 7. The hepatitis B vaccine is publicly funded for students until the end of grade 12. Keep in mind that if a student does not complete the two-dose series before age 16, an additional third dose is needed for full protection. It is also important to note that although hepatitis B vaccination is not mandatory to attend elementary or secondary school in Ontario, it is often a requirement for certain college and university programs and health-related professions. The HPV vaccine protects against nine different types of human papillomavirus. This virus is spread through close skin-to-skin -skin contact and can cause cancers of the head, neck, and reproductive organs, as well as genital warts. The HPV vaccine is safe, highly effective, and recommended for all genders. This vaccine is also a two-dose series for grade 7 students. It is publicly funded for students until the end of grade 12. However, if a student does not start the two-dose series before age 15, they will need three doses for full protection. With any vaccine, it is possible to experience mild side effects, but many students do not experience anything at all. Common side effects include soreness in the arm, headache, or mild fever. If side effects do occur, they usually last one to two days and can be treated with over-the-counter medication if needed. A cold compress on the arm may also help to relieve discomfort. In extremely rare cases, allergic reactions can occur. Symptoms of an allergy include rash, hives, fever greater than 39 degrees Celsius, or difficulty breathing. If your child experiences a severe reaction, seek medical attention immediately. A common question is if it's okay to get all three vaccines at the same time. The answer is yes. Receiving multiple vaccines at once is safe, effective, convenient, and does not increase the risk of side effects. Students can continue all their normal daily activities after getting vaccinated, including sports. 
In fact, we encourage students to move and use their arms. To provide consent for your child to participate in their school's immunization clinic, please visit wechu.org slash grade 7 vaccine consent to complete the online consent form. It is recommended to have your child's immunization records and health card on hand if available. The consent form is available in English and French, but if you want to read it in a different language or have it read out loud, you can click on the ear icon. If you do not want your child to participate in the school clinic, we kindly ask that you complete the consent form to indicate your refusal. If you have questions about consent or prefer to provide consent over the phone, you can speak to a public health nurse by calling 519-258-2146, extension 1222. You may receive a call from a public health nurse if there are any questions about the information you submitted or if a completed consent form is not received for your child. Questions that are commonly asked by parents and guardians include the following. How will I know when the clinic is happening at my child's school? The school will send out reminder notices prior to the clinic, which may be a digital or hard copy. Notices will include the clinic date and how to prepare. It is recommended for students to wear a short-sleeved shirt and eat breakfast. What happens if my child is absent on the day of the school clinic? A notice will be sent home with information on next steps, including how to schedule an appointment at the health unit or with your health care provider. If your child missed the clinic in the fall, nurses will be returning to the school in the spring. What can my child expect on the day of the clinic? Students with consent to be immunized will be brought to a designated clinic area, such as the gym or library. They will sit one-on-one -on -one with a nurse and have an opportunity to ask questions. After being immunized, they will be monitored for 15 minutes. Then they will return to class and continue their day with no restrictions. Students will be given an immunization record to bring home indicating which vaccines they received. What should I do if I want my child to receive the vaccines, but not at a school clinic? You can schedule an appointment at the health unit or reach out to your primary health care provider. If your health care provider is willing, they can special order the grade 7 vaccines from the health unit to administer in their office. Remember to report the vaccines to the health unit after they are administered. For more information, please visit our website at wechu.org. If you have any questions, please contact the Immunization Department by phone at 519-258-2146 extension 1222. By email at imms at wechu.org. In person at 1005 Willette Avenue or in person at 33 Princess Street. To access an immunization record or report vaccines online, visit immune.wechu.org. <laughs>